hi guys um i hope you guys are doing so well uh, i just want to come over here and share a few things that i have been learning and i have been um experiencing um so it starts off with the phrase everyone's entitled to their own feelings right i know that most of us has, have used that i know myself a lot of times especially in tough situations with either people or just circumstances in general i'm um, just feeling like you know i'm entitled to my own feelings i'm entitled to um yeah it's time to feel how i want to feel about this situation and in me saying that typically i'm gonna speak for myself typically i say that when it's typically with people if a situation is rocky with people and i'm like okay no you know what that person can feel how they want to feel and i'm entitled to my own feelings as well and something that i have been learning is how we can misuse that phrase as believers okay so what i mean by misuse i am not saying that everyone is not necessarily um entitled to their own feelings but what do we do with that entitlement of having the freedom of having our own feelings and emotions about specific things and the fact that they do differ from people to people and this is what god has been showing me like even when me saying things like you know well, you know, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. So, you know, kind of just leaving it at that. The issue is saying that and leaving it at that. Because as believers, we are called to a higher standard of handling our feelings and our emotions. And what we actually, a standard of like, what do we do with those feelings and those emotions? And that's where that statement we're entitled to our own feelings it kind of gets me because it's like if you leave it there it can be a dangerous thing because yes we are entitled to our own feelings in the sense that we have different feelings everyone can have different feelings regarding the same thing but not always are our feelings one accurate or reflective of the truth but sometimes like even when they're accurate and reflective of the truth what do those feelings and emotions lead us to do so all that to say is when we're talking about it being entitled to our own feelings and emotions what is the standard as a believer are we called to do with those feelings that we're entitled to have and from what i've been learning recently um and trying to apply to different circumstances are yes i may feel this way yes i may be right um but god has called for me to one be peaceable with everyone as much as it allows me to be at peace as much as i am able to be at peace with people one so that's i know that's a standard for me one so regardless of how i feel that's the standard for me two reflecting off of what are my feelings regarding certain situations because i think about when he tells us to take every thought and imagination and make it captive to the word of god the truth of god and so some feelings i know personally are not reflective of the truth of the situation and so it reminds me of that scripture in a sense that every thought and imagination yields an emotion it yields a feeling a thought can be based off of a fact some thoughts can be based off of a fact that yields to emotion but then there are certain imaginations and imaginations mean that it could be a thought it can be a thought about um a circumstance or a person that's not necessarily true you may have taken something that you perceive and you ran with it or not even you ran with it you, the, uh, the enemy has allowed you or has given you things to fluff up situations and so it's like those imaginations and god has really been teaching me to how to in those moments when i feel my feelings roving up stopping and asking him where is that coming from one even if it's based off of a fact or did i just like make this thing bigger than it really is and and if it if the feeling that it that it is producing is anything that is sinful against man or against my god 
I'm called to push it under subjection to the truth and how he calls for me to love people and how he love how he calls for me to love God. So although I am entitled to whatever that emotion or that feeling is, I am not entitled to sin against God and sin against people. And I think that's the second part that I'm focusing on. Um, not getting stuck on my entitlement to be able to feel how I feel, but my entitlement to not I'm not I'm not entitled to sin against anyone and I'm not entitled to sin against God despite my feelings despite my emotions despite whether my feelings are accurate about the situation or despite whether my feelings are like kind of fluffed up because of like past situations and guys we all know that happened like I know for myself like you have past traumas and so then when something even small resembles that past trauma it can seem humongous when it's not and that can lead to a feeling um and so feelings can be sometimes misleading but they can be beneficial because they can also show us the condition of our heart god didn't give us feelings just to have feelings so we can be entitled to have feelings he gave us feelings i believe um to want to surface the issues and the condition of our heart and that is what i feel like needs to be more focused on rather than this entitlement to have our own set of feelings. Um, yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about the past couple weeks um, and how and what does that look like to know that I am entitled to have this emotion, but I'm not entitled to sin. Um, yeah, and it reflects like to be angry and sin not. Like it's all through scripture, this, this entitlement to be able to feel an emotion, but not entitled to sin based off of the emotion you know and i know a lot of times especially pre-christ it was always like i can react how i want to react because i i am i i can i can give you the reason why i'm acting why i'm acting and they deserve it but that's not what it is anymore like that's not what i'm called and how i'm called to live in christ anymore and I, it's just like again like recently I'm just been asking God like help me to remember that before my entitlement to feel my entitlement is to love and to honor so to check my feelings at the door and not use it as an excuse to sin against people use it as an excuse uh, 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 an excuse to sin against God just a Sorry guys, my camera went dead. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments box. I would love to start like a uh, a discussion about this. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Facets of him, you're just, it's an intimacy like no other. It is an intimacy like no other. And it changes the way you perceive things. It changes your perspective of things. It changes the